Hi guys, welcome to my channel and my name is Dr. Monu Mishra and here I am with a absolutely new video on a very controversial as well as very important topic. So the topic is who should do a PhD? <music> There are questions from many of my viewers who are asking or you're very curious to know who should really do a PhD. So if you have a JRF or you have very good grades or you have like very good knowledge that makes you ideal, ideal candidate for PhD or not. Or what are the criteria or like what are the traits a person should have so that he can pursue his career in, in PhD. So in this video we will be talking about these traits which you should have or in order to think you have a really a good career and a really prospect in PhD but before that I would like to tell you a couple of things about PhD which I have you know learned from my own experience as well as experience of many other persons who I have talked with you should know about a couple of things that PhD is a very long and tiring process PhD is not a sprint that you will run fast and complete the race no that's not going to happen PhD is a very long and tiring process which is just like a marathon that you have to run and run and run and run and run then you will get your destiny another thing you you should know that PhD is a very low profile job you will not get money it's not like you are going to be Lionel Messi who's just playing football and earning in lakhs and crores and getting a too much of fame so despite having so much of efforts and so much of your energy in a thing and getting a new technology or new device in the world you get nothing this journey of phd is you know full with ups and downs like you are getting blah 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 and whew. you are very happy you got a good publication you got a very good things happening in your life and suddenly you are doing an experiment and the next data set whew, goes down which is not according to what you expected so the life is full of uncertainties and life is full of ups and downs so you are doing a project from like six months eight months you are very hopeful that it will succeed and in the next six second the data goes down and all the plants are disappeared another thing you should know before i will tell you the traits of a uh, researcher is you have literally no social life there are a lot of person who have a lot of friends but in a phd for a phd scholars the number of friends are very limited you are mostly sitting in a room or in a lab and doing either with your laptop or with the machine there are two loves in your lab okay there are two loves in your lab and the first love is your machine that you are working with and the second love is your laptop that is all your documentation phd is full of documentation whether writing a report or submitting a report writing for funds or submitting a research article either you will read or you will write phd is all about reading and writing reading and writing vice versa one goes another comes one goes another comes it's like a circle so with this i would like to start with the characteristics of a researcher so let's get started with this video hang on so the first point i would like to highlight is the patience if you do not have patience in your life phd is not for you it's like in phd you have to do a lot of experiments and most of them fail so you have to keep your cool that okay despite that this experiment go fail i will succeed in the next one and besides that your phd is not like a stock market that your shares is like this one and next day it's sky high the phd process is very slowly it tries very slowly and many times i told you it's full of ups and downs you get up and down good experiment bad experiment you expected things to be go up now it failed so in this situation you need to hold patience that one day or other day you will succeed so you need to have patience i know most of the people would have assumed that i will take, uh, talk about passion or interest in research but no besides having patience on interest the first thing you need to have is patience patience that my experiment will do good patience that i will complete my phd patience that i will succeed at some point in time because in phd you are not going to get job just after your phd yeah like i did my phd in 2019 itself but right now i'm just doing a project or something of good research in a good research institute but the permanent job or like i wanted to be a group leader or have or my own group it's still a couple of steps away I will tell you the case like my friends who are there in my bachelors and couple of them are doing very good job like a manager in a branch or you know a good position in a 
corporate or good position in government they all have very good jobs but still i am doing yeah i am making video to video in front of you so research career is not just like a rampant thing you will do something and next day you will succeed because it takes time like it's a phd is a like a three to four or five years job depending upon where you do it so research takes time and just after your research completing your phd you have to go for post doctorate or you have to go some other trainings and after three or four years you will get a good job so it takes time so if you do not have patience you want to do things very quickly or you want to succeed very quickly this field is not for you for sure coming to the next point is interest and passion if you are really trust me if you are really not interested or research is not your passion do not go in this field as i explained earlier this field takes time if you are really interested in something then only you will wait for it then only you will do for it because this is like after your masters you go for eight years or ten years or seven years then you get a job so it's a very long time and many people do not have that much patience to hold it so if you have interest then only you will hold it for that much longer second thing research and phd is a very low profile job you do a very good science you make a very good device you make a very good medicine and there are this much amount of people know you and your income is just like that even a manager or a good person in corporates are more than a professor in research field so the only thing that keeps you binded with this field is your interest and passion because there are no money there is low, very low profile job and there is no social life and just like nothing if you are really interested in that then only you will be able to survive else you will get a lot of mental depression and you will quit out of it so the next point is obviously do phd or research only when you are really 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 interested in that else trust me you are going to suffer a lot and then at some point of the time you will also think of quitting and most of the time people do quit also a field that takes plenty of your time it's not a regular 8 to 10 9 to 5 job it takes 10 hours 12 hours more than that i too worked continuously 36 hours in my life continuously just 4 hours of sleep in that 36 hours so only go for it when you have interest so the next point i would like to highlight is scientific and logical you are only going to survive in phd or you will all be only going to do your phd when you have a scientific and logical mindset so whenever you come in the room and say it's very hot you know what would be the answer of a phd what is the temperature i don't believe it's hot or cold because that depends on the temperature so if you say a person who is living in alaska or in a very cold country zero or four degrees celsius is somewhere hot for him and a person who is living in desert or like in gulf for him four degree or zero degree is going to be pretty much cool so here comes the concept if you are scientist you know want to do a phd then you have to be in scientific principles that anything below 25 is below room temperature and anything below about 25 degrees centigrade is above room temperature so you do not have to rely on persons you have to believe something on logical and scientific so you go and check the temperature and tell yeah this is the temperature and that's how you can say whether it is hot or cool so being scientific and logical is the first and foremost thing because you have to uncover the science if you do not have a you know scientific thinking logical thinking you cannot see beyond you cannot introspect into things and really get out the real science so you can only believe in what is happening see something and say yeah this is happening but there's a lot of things behind it that you people don't know coming to the next point is curiosity and creativity if you lack curiosity and creativity this field is certainly not for you because you're not going to research on things which is already done no one is going to do research on paracetamol because it's already available so you have to make something new you have to give the society something new and how it is going to be possible it is going to be possible only when you have a creative and curiosity if you're not curious to know anything you are not going to go behind it and that's now science propagates and also if you do not want to do any new thing how the world is going to have such new things now the laptop is in your hand and once there was a time when the whole computer was supposed to be in a room so for a room to adjust in up in your palm how did it you know 
transform that is because of the creativity and the curiosity of people that you have a transistor which just have a gate length of 3 nanometer the technology and how this technology is going curious people are curious to know they do things they hit and try they do experiments and those experiments are based on curiosity as well as creativity you have to derive something new you have to uncover something new and that's how the world is going to have something new for sure coming to the next point is prudence a scientist get a limited amount of fund and limited amount of time to do his experiments and as well as his do research in a phd you are supposed to do everything in three to four years which has been given to you under a limited fund so there is to be a person who can utilize all these three years and the given amount in the best possible efficient way so in science you are supposed to have prudence so that you can effectively and efficiently use the resources to get the best output of it Coming to the next point is one of the my favorite point is healthy criticism. So if you cannot tolerate someone who is, you know, you know, blaming you for something and you just go mad and just fight with it, science is not for you. So many times you will come with a very fascinating result and show in a conference and people will say, yeah, that's wrong because this does not follow certain principle or this is a violation of this and that and that and you will show oh i have done this research i know more better than you just keep the shut up so that's not how it's going to be research because in research you have to be open to criticism because you might be in a you know uh, expert of one field but there are n number of people who are expert of n number of field and who can tell you even more so in science, if you cannot take criticism, this is not for you because you have to bear the positive and the healthy criticism. You have to take the criticism in a healthy way. Okay, you are saying, right, let me do this another experiment and find out whether this is a violation of X property or X principle or X science. So healthy criticism is one of the major parts you need to be ready in science. Coming to the next point is networking and socialization. Science is all about networking and socialization that you have to network. You have to make contacts with people who have better resources or are expert of X or Y field. You cannot have all the resources in your lab. Trust me, the resources cost a lot of money and you cannot have it all in your lab. So you have to depend on others. You have to seek help from other people persons organizations people funding agencies uh, everything so you need to you know have help from a lot of persons so you have to be open for collaborations inter uh, you know team working as well as resource sharing so you have to be more adaptable and networking kind of person so that you can survive in the phd and do your work in a more efficient or more decent manner coming to another point is hard work and documentation so if you are something you think smart work can overcome everything change your mind because hard work is necessary yes hard work is necessary in science you cannot do a experiment which was supposed to happen 24 hours in two hours so in order to do phd you have to be ready for hard work i too in a phd as a clinician have worked continuously for 36 hours and that's not very you know uh, uncommon thing it's pretty common so a lot of people work in day or night and so be ready for hard work and be ready for documentation from submitting your report to getting fellowship to getting signed for attendance to some to show something in international journal or to publish it or to go conference everything is documented science is all about black and white you have to give proofs in written form so be ready for a lot of documentation because that's not going to leave you just not after phd but throughout your research career this is the serious one be ready for mental stress in your phd you will go through a lot of situations you will go under a lot of tragic situation a lot of failures a lot of ups and downs and a lot of mood swings that you will feel i should quit this or i am not made for this or i am just a dumbass or i cannot do this kind of things many times you will have self-doubt many times because you not have, don't have a social life you do not have much people to support you and everyone is busy in their work they will not be able to give so much of the time so many times anxiety depression and mental illness it's very common in research and this is pretty common there are a lot of reports that phd students suffer from a lot of mental problems and i too have witnessed and faced it at one point of time in my life so i uh, be mentally prepared for this if another point is that phd is a mixture of dependence and independence you cannot completely work independently 
you cannot completely work dependently. Sometimes you have to depend on funding agencies, on your guide for approval, on persons that you are collaborating with for resource sharing, information sharing, as well as their opinions. But many times you have to do your work by independently yourself. No one will help you. He will say, oh, yeah, that's your work. That you have to do by yourself. Go and do that work by yourself. So be ready for that. It's a mixture of independence and the mixture of dependence. I think I have covered everything that a person should know before doing a PhD or the kind of attitude or traits a person should have in order to do a PhD or pursue a research career. So I hope you have learned a lot and PhD is not a, you know, very fancy stuff. It's not a fairy tale life. You have to suffer a lot and that is written in your career. Financial things, social things, happiness. You have seen, uh, you know, uh, there was, I don't know, there was a scene from Big Bang Theory. Yeah, there, there was a scene from Big Bang Theory where all the four scientists were happy because there was just a one point up in the graph. So the happiness in PhD lies in, you know, getting a graph rather getting something really good. So their happiness lies in a very small things, very, you know, very data points their happiness lies in data points rather than real things so a person is more happy to get a paper in nature rather than getting a proposal from a girl so you can relate it how things are very different in phd rather than the, your complete life and i can also tell you you many times you will feel that my friends are getting a higher position and uh, doing some good good amount and they are earning very good amount of money they are getting this car and those things and you are doing nothing sitting in a room and making graphs so be ready for a you know a storm of happiness sorrows joy good moments bad moments it's like a you know it's a very complicated thing so life in phd is very complicated if you want to do things phd be ready for that complications that's all for today if you have any questions for me just put it in the comment section i'll try to get you as soon as possible and if you like the content don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit that like that button for me and also press that bell so that you do not miss any further update from me and that's all for today and you might think i am in a very entirely different mood in this video because actually i am like this and in my other video i try to be sober and more you know sophisticated so that i look good <laughs> or people say yeah you don't have to be that much funny in your videos but now nah, that's what i don't i am i'm just do it so that you take me seriously that's all so that's all for today's video and stay connected for the next video and we'll meet pretty soon. Till then, stay safe and take care of your family.